The drivers on northbound I-5 in downtown Seattle came to an abrupt stop after demonstrators shut down all of the lanes that lasted for over an hour and a half. Protesters donned their cars with T gray flag demonstrating genocide in Ethiopia. The protest actually came two days after the two sides in this war signed a peace treaty. Alejandra Guzman has more. A nightmare for drivers. I-5 shut down as demonstrators took to the highway, lining up their cars, stopping traffic, hoping to spark a conversation. Our families are dying. There are children being raped. There are kids being slaughtered. We're not sure if anybody is alive or dead or what the case is. Both of these women, who for the safety of their family in Tigray, wanted to remain anonymous. They were a part of this, a peaceful caravan, which turned into nearly a two-hour shutdown of a major highway for their loved ones living a humanitarian crisis. This isn't a political issue, it's ethnic cleansing. They're not gonna stop until all of Tigray is dead. Today marks two years since the war started. Time these women and thousands of others have not been able to communicate with their loved ones. They don't have electricity, they don't have food, they don't have uh, access to medicine. So we're here to make a point. Our families are being murdered, hashtag Tigray genocide, their banner said. Cars covered in red and yellow flags lined the underpass just before Olive Way. You can see demonstrators on the highway waving flags, standing and chanting as they say 91% of the people in Tigray are being starved to death. Nobody wants to be on the freeway putting anybody at risk or inconveniencing people, but it's sort of like desperate times call for desperate measures. Fadila says a peace treaty was signed two days ago, but the situation has only worsened after Ethiopia bombed Tigray four hours later. The war now one of the deadliest conflicts in the world globally, now being referred to as the Forgotten War. But unfortunately, sometimes it does get to matters like this where you do have to step out and step over that boundary line to make sure that things are being heard. I absolutely plan on going home after I finish my workout and uh, investigating more as a black man in Seattle. I want to see more about what's going on in Ethiopia. Until now. I do want to apologize for the inconvenience, but I am very proud of the fact that we were able to get that message out there. Their peaceful protest bringing out WSP who says it's illegal to block the highway. Are you ready to be taken into custody over this? Absolutely. Absolutely. My family's dying. The least I can do is get arrested by bringing awareness. The protests remained peaceful as dozens of protesters returned to their cars honking as they drove away, allowing traffic to once again flow. That was Alejandra Guzman reporting. We're told no one was taken into custody after the protesters drove off.